Hey, what's going on, Archie Jarvis? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to take a look at some new battery packs from Jens Ace, and I'm actually really excited about some of the features of this pack, and let me tell you why. Years ago, I had a battery manufacturer come up to me, not Jens Ace, and they said, what would be a really cool feature you would like to see in battery packs? And I said, I would like to have a little button where I could just press it and see the condition of the battery pack. And they thought about it, they said it was a really cool idea, but not something that they wanted to do. I was a little bummed out about it, but you know what? this battery has that feature. So that's why I'm so excited to show it to you. So let's take a closer look at these batteries. They are the Gens Ace Advanced LiPo Packs. They are a high voltage battery and they've got some really cool box art right off the bat. Love the look of this. They've got your warnings on the outside that you obviously have to read. Uh, some advanced features that I'll obviously tell you in a minute, but let's crack open the box here. And this one is a massive 10,000 milliamp battery pack. Check this thing out, it's huge. Love the look of this battery pack. Inside, there'll also be an instruction sheet. Make sure you read that. It has all your warnings and stuff. But uh, let me grab this pack out too here. This is a 3S pack. There's the instruction sheets. This one is a 6,500 milliamp pack. These are 100C packs. Really cool looking pack, aren't they? Let me know what you think about them in the comment section below. This thing looks absolutely solid. This plastic case here looks really strong, feels really strong. Uh, this one kind of looks like it's got an end cap on it. So maybe the bat, and this one too. So maybe the cells slide inside and then they glue the case together, but it's just not a standard plastic case. This one is actually textured. So it's got the look and feel of something really high tech. Something worth what uh, you're gonna pay for them. The label's more like a wrap that you would see on a buggy or truggy body. It's not just a sticker and it's uh, you know actually die cut to fit some of the panels on this uh, case. So really good look to it, like the graphics. And you know, again, it's a 10,000, this one's a 10,000 million battery pack, 100C, high voltage cells. So you're gonna get that extra power boost out of it. So if you're looking for a higher quality pack, this is what you would go with. Take a look at the wires on this thing, eight gauge. And for an HV pack, obviously you need this for the output. Really nice silicone uh, you know, sheathing on this. And then I got mine with IC5 connectors. It's yellow, not this the normal blue. And then this is another feature I like. I love it when they put these little uh, covers on the balance plugs. So you pull on the cover instead of pulling on the wires, which you know some people do, and it pulls your plugs out. Not good for your battery packs, but uh, really nice. It's a really well overbuilt pack. Now, the big feature here is obviously that button that I was telling you guys about. And uh, the button is located on the end cap here and you just give it a quick press and some LED lights will pop up to indicate the power level of the battery pack. So it's in storage mode right now. There's three LEDs, yeah, three LED lights on the end cap. And if you look up here, it actually has a key chart. So it will tell you the power level of your battery pack and it breaks everything down here even some red light warnings. So if there is an issue with the battery pack itself, whether uh, a couple of cells are out of balance, it will indicate here that there is an issue. It'll light up red on the little button up front. So that indicates to you that you need to go and possibly balance charge your batteries, you know, to get your cells back to level. Or, you know, if there is another indicator here, it, it may, you know, let you know that you need to contact the manufacturer because there might be another issue inside of the, the cell, which is really cool that it, you could find out that information right here on the battery pack. Now, the other cool feature is this has an internal circuit board in there that will help disrupt the charger if there is a charging issue. If one cell is going to be overcharged, it will send a signal back to the charger to stop the, the charge, basically an interruption signal, and you know that prevents overcharging. It doesn't have a internal cutoff in, in the battery itself, so just be aware of that. It, it sends a disruption signal. So this is a really cool looking pack with the hard case, the, the nice decal, the heavy gauge wire, the internal circuitry, the ease of use. Uh, I gotta try these packs, so I'm gonna go throw this one on charge and we'll head out for a quick run. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, drivers, I thought the fire team was perfectly powered on 6S, but you know what? It's been a monster with this 4S pack from Jens Ace in there. These high voltage shells really have some kick and I really like the way this truck, this rig drives now. It's been absolutely wild. Look at that. Plenty of wheel spin there to just kick up dirt. Plenty of power to jump. Let's launch this thing. Yeah. Love this rig. But man, it's got some punch. On a 4S pack in this big rig, it does have some serious punch. Let's launch this thing again. Yeah. Awesome. So cool. Let me just do one rip over here down the street so you can see it. And I got a lot of runtime on this pack, so watch this. Coming through the rough. Monster. Love it. All right, let's head back to the workshop. All right, so I'm back from an awesome test run, but before I touch on that, I did want to talk about a smart feature that I missed before, and that is the storage mode. It has a circuit board in here that will detect if the battery is still, let's say, fully charged, and after five days, if it notices you haven't used it yet, it will start to drop it down into a storage mode charge. So another neat function, another smart function of this battery pack, but out in the dirt, this thing was a blast. I've been meaning to get back out with the fire team, so testing out this battery pack was the perfect opportunity to do that and again it was a 4s pack and this beast had plenty of power on 4s it was a lot of fun out in that field plenty of rip plenty of punch long run time i'm sorry i don't know what the run time was because i'm always in content mode starting and stopping taking pictures and video and stuff and before i know it my timer is just out of whack so you know it definitely has plenty of run time and and the punch is actually phenomenal you know the higher voltage shell really gives it some rip Really liked it. And again, you know, really easy to just go and test if you need to. I know it's a little gimmicky, uh, but you know what? It, it's just convenient. It's right there. It just makes life a little bit easier. And you know, for some people <laughs> that is gold. The current batch of packs are aimed at fitting into armor vehicles, but uh, check out Exocage RC's video on these packs. He's got a great fitment guide into a bunch of different cars. So if you're looking to fit this into something besides the Arma, he may have the answer for you. Uh, the only things I would warn you about with this are obviously make sure you have the appropriate charger to charge up these cells. Uh, obviously, Jens Ace has that and watch your temperatures. You got a, a 10,000 milliamp battery pack in there. That is a big fuel tank and, and let's say a big heavy vehicle like that. Your temperatures will go up, especially on an 85 degree day like it was today. I didn't run into an issue, but it's always something to watch out for. All right, guys. Let me know what you think about these new packs in the comments section below. While you're down there, hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell. I'll have links in the video description and we'll see you back soon for some more RC Driver videos.